Okay, there was an inquiry uh, about my power draw bar, and I uh, mentioned that I would try to post a little video to give some explanation. And uh, obviously, I can't give you a detailed uh, visual on every piece because I'd have to disassemble it, which I'm not prepared to do. But uh, you can get the general overview. Uh, you've got the mounting brackets. In my case, they bolt to the sides of the head cover. Uh, you've got what I call the lift plate here. This is 5 8 aluminum. This is the plate that lifts up on the spindle nut as the drawbar pushes, or the uh, cylinder pushes down on the drawbar. Let me show you that. In my case, this is done with a foot pedal. And so you can see that. They push and pull simultaneously, which gives uh, uh, a very nice squeeze on the Bellevilles without really any downward pressure on the spindle. This spindle nut is made of steel. In my case, I threaded the top end of the spindle and made a corresponding nut that screws on that so, they're, so you're pulling directly up on the spindle itself. Some guys have made this and this together as one. I've seen it referred to by some as the top hat, which uh, obviously it looks like one. I made it in two pieces. I, I made this uh, this thing, which this what this does, uh, the idea of this is a slip, a loose slip fit for the OD of your Bellevilles. What that does is hold all your Bellevilles straight up and down in a stack so that when you're spinning at high RPMs, everything is spinning concentrically. Uh, I've added this. Uh, when I first bit finished the machine, I didn't have that, and I've noticed that squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing, those Bellevilles would begin to slip side to side, and uh, things were wobbling at high RPM, so I added this, and it really smoothed everything out. Uh, this nut uh, it, and this piece, this is threaded internally. Those two jam together on the top end of a piece of 7 16 by 20 hardened all thread which is what I'm using for my drawbar because I wanted to custom make my own make it any length I want make it something that's easy to replace doesn't take a ton of machining so the hardened 7 16 by 20 all thread works really well I just jam these two together that also gives me a place to put a wrench and uh, my wrench will fit right in there and then I've got a pin wrench that will hold the nut so I can uh, tighten down those bell bills, get them nice and snug. I've got mine adjusted so there's lots of tension on them uh, when the cylinder's at rest and just enough movement to release the tool when everything's fully compressed. Just enough to get the tool in and out. Uh, that way there's uh, plenty of pressure at all times pulling up on that, uh, that collet. So I don't know what else to say. That's about all I could show you at this point in time. I, I can tell you it works fine. Um, I really haven't had any problems. Uh, have had a couple of occasions where a TTS uh, tool has slipped a little bit on me, but as I've investigated, uh, I discovered that uh, that the draw bar, uh, I don't know if it's stretched, which you know all steel will stretch to some degree. Uh, uh, it's hardened threads and so I've investigated, I've, I've inspected it, it doesn't appear that the threads are pulling at all. Uh, the collet's obviously hardened, the threads on the all thread are hardened. But if anything I'm gonna count, I'm gonna uh, chalk it up to stretch maybe of that uh, all thread. Whatever the case, I have had a couple of uh, TTS tools that have slipped on me a little bit. And of course when that happens, they pull down, you lose your Z registration. Uh, in one case it ruined the part completely. In another case I caught it uh, during a roughing operation and uh, was still able to use the part uh, once I got it uh, squared away. I have, I'm currently running 2,700 pounds of Belleville washers. I'm thinking very, very seriously about upping that to 3,600 pounds. Uh, the washers I use are 900 pounds pressure a piece. I've got them stacked in groups of three. I'm uh, very seriously considering to going gr groups of four. That'll bump it up to 3,600 pounds, and uh, I think that'll uh, prevent that from happening again in the future. One thing I did t notice that both of the uh, uh, tools that slipped 
were not actual tour mount tools. I had purchased a couple of uh, ER20 collet holders from uh, the other outfit up in Canada. I can't, Novacon is the name. And uh, both of those are the ones that slipped. And when I investigated, sure enough, they were not a true three-quarter inch. They were slightly undersized. And so, uh, you know, you got to really be careful with this stuff. Uh, and um, I, I only use those. They, I, they still work, and I do use them, but I only use them on real small, small diameter tooling, 1 16th or uh, 1 8 inch tooling. And you get up into the heavier stuff, you need all the grip you can get. So uh, anyways, that's what I've got. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, at least you can get a visual on what I wound up with since I never had fully documented this in my thread. Okay, thanks a lot. Adios.